Truffle or hard hat? That's the question we're asking ourselves today when it comes to the development environment of choice for a smart contract developer in 2021. Which framework should you choose? What are the benefits and drawbacks with hard hat, with Truffle, and how should you make your choice? That's what the video is about today. And as I said, we're going to talk about all of that stuff, what the differences are between the two frameworks, how you can make your decision. Because once you've made it, it's not necessarily easy to switch if you're building out a large project. So it's good to have this information before you start. And before we dig into that, what is a development environment or a, you know, why do you need these developer tools when you're building on Ethereum? Well, what you need these tools for is basically to be able to compile your contracts locally on your machine, to be able to test them and test them efficiently, meaning you need to write tests that are easy to not only write, but easy to run and debug and that are fast. And you need to be able to deploy your contracts, uh, meaning connect to an actual Ethereum node. Either you deploy them maybe to a local development chain on your PC or your computer, or you deploy to a testnet, or you deploy to the mainnet. And you need procedures to deploy the contracts so that you can not only set up the contracts correctly, but also initialize them in the right way. And to do that uh, in an easy, fast, and a way where you can easily spot errors. So those are the main reasons that we use these development tools, Truffle and Hardhat. And they're a step up from using uh, Remix, which is the tool that... I would say most beginners use when they come into Solidity development, they use Remix. Uh, so remix.ethereum.org, which is a web-based IDE for building, testing, and deploying smart contracts. And it's very good for beginners and smaller projects. But once you're working with larger projects uh, and you are maybe multiple people collaborating and you need to run complex tests, and unit tests, not just manual tests where you um, can easily click and run a function like you can in Remix. Um, so if you're running a small project, Remix is fine. But once you start to build a larger project, you do need something more powerful like Hard Hat or Truffle. And when I started coding smart contracts back in 2017, Truffle was newly released. It was the only um, it was the only development tool like it that was out. So. I'm very used to running Truffle. I've been doing it for multiple years and um, I'm more well-versed in that environment than I am with Hardhat. I'm just starting to explore it right now. Uh, but since Truffle's launch, they have started to get some competition. That's what I'm trying to say. And a lot of people are now pivoting from Truffle, which many people say are a bit slow to develop and that are stuck in their old ways of doing things while Hardhat and other projects have been able to um, innovate in a faster way. And I can also say that all of the opinions that I express here are just that, it's just my opinions. I'm not uh, paid or sponsored by any of these projects, so I'm just sharing my own personal opinion. So let's get into the actual differences. One of the first differences that we can talk about is the difference uh, with uh, you know, extensibility and flexibility. So Truffle is pretty set in, in their way when it comes to this. You have your um, contracts, you have your tests, you have your migrations, and that's about it. And then, of course, you have the rest of the stack like Ganache and there are other tools and so on. But when it comes to Truffle, you have those three. With Hardhat, you're a bit more flexible. Uh, you can write your contracts, of course, you can compile them, you can migrate them, but that is done uh, with scripts. So in, in, in Truffle, you have these fixed migrations, which are like scripts, but they're meant for deploying. Then you have tests, which are unit tests. In Hardhat, you can build your own scripts, and they can be for whatever you want it to do. That can be for testing, it can be for deploying. You just write a script, and you can run that script on your contract. Um, and then they also have a ton of plugins. So Hardhat has this extensibility where you can use a lot of different plugins in order to make your environment the way you want. So here you can see that uh, they have a plugin to injecting ethers.js, which we're going to talk later on. You can inject Waffle, uh, which is another um, sort of development environment that you can use together with Hardhat. And then you also have integrations with Truffle so that you can more easily port projects over from Truffle 
to hard hat, and that's uh, important for a lot of people. Um, you can inject uh, Web3 if you want that, and um, yeah, you can uh, have a plugin for Ganache, and there's a lot of different, you have Linters and Viper, and yeah, you have a ton of plugins here for a lot, a lot of different things. Uh, so you can really customize your environment uh, when it comes to hard hat, and that's a good thing for most people. But maybe it can make it a bit more complicated if you knew to have to deal with all of these plugins, whereas Truffle, um, they have a fixed way of doing things, and uh, you can just start right away. And another big difference is the difference in um, the Web3 library that they use. So Truffle use Web3.js. Let's see, here it is. Which is also the first um, JavaScript API for Ethereum that I used. And it was, as far as I know, the only one that was available when I started developing back in um, 2017. But now there has been innovation in this space as well. And now we have ethers.js. And ethers.js is also this new, a bit more popular uh, JavaScript API library for interacting with the Ethereum blockchain. And this is the default library for Hardhat. Even though you saw in the plugins, let's see here, that you can use uh, Web3 as well. But a lot of people prefer, especially, you know, the Hardhat the users, they prefer to use ethers.js they feel it is a bit more user friendly and in many ways it is and uh, that it's easier to use. So that is a big benefit um, because with hardhat you can use both. If you like web3.js you can use that but it defaults to ethers.js. Truffle has web3.js by default and I actually don't know if you can switch to uh, ethers.js. I assume you can but it's not the default. A lot of people also prefer Hardhat because of their error handling and debugging tools. So Hardhat has this um, ability to run console log in your Solidity contract. And it's from, for, for a developer that's been developing for quite some time, it's not something revolutionary. They utilize you know, Solidity events in a library that they call console log. And uh, then they have displayed that in a very nice way when you run your test and so on so to actually get uh, an actual console log in the uh, command prompt or console or terminal so that's very nice and it makes it easy to console log uh, from your solidity contracts while in uh, truffle you would have to just create your own events throw those events and then go and look into the entire log and dig for that event so it, they have made it easier in hard hat for sure and something else that is incredible with hard hat that I have discovered just in the recent weeks is the fact that they will give you stack traces when you, um, for example, revert in a Solidity function. They will give you stack traces when that happens so that you can see uh, exactly what happened in your contract. And that's uh, something that is very useful if you're stuck and you're trying to debug what happened while in uh, Truffle and many other um, tools for Solidity development, you would just be stuck with the error message that you got from your contract and not an actual full stack trace. So that's, that's pretty cool. And also with Hardhat, you have the ability to run TypeScript, which for many people uh, is a big plus. Maybe it's possible in, uh, in Truffle as well. I just haven't discovered it. Um, but for Hardhat, you can just easily do it with their plugins. Um, and I think that's about it. And once again, my favorite is still Truffle because I've been using it for so long. So it takes some time for me to get used to a new tool. tool. Uh, but there is no right or wrong here. You choose the tool that you like best. But currently, the wind that I'm, you know, what I'm seeing online, the wind is blowing in hard hat's favor, so to say. And if you haven't tried them out yet, I would encourage you to do so and sort of get a feel for how they're different. Uh, but Truffle, works fine. I'm using Truffle myself. I love it. But I'm going to explore more about Hardhat and maybe I'll make more videos in the future with my discoveries from using it more in my everyday coding. So I hope you enjoyed this little video about Hardhat versus Truffle and that you learned something. Don't forget to check out the other videos here on the Morales YouTube channel on how to build solid smart contracts, how to build dApps. And also don't, for don't forget to check out Morales.io. It's the best platform for building your dApp. Any front-end developer can very easily get a dApp going with all of the necessary infrastructure that you need. Also, don't forget to check out our hackathon, morales.io slash hackathon. You can win a lot of cash 
So make sure to do that. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.